Hey guys, it's Arch Robotics here, and this is our fourth update video on Arben Toya. And today, we're going to show you the circuitry that's going to go in the boat. Unlike other videos, this video will feature all six of Arch Robotics members. We'll be exploring the circuitry that are the driving force that keeps the boat alive. So on screen at the moment, you'll be able to see the Arben Toya Control app being loaded up. And so this long green bar is controlling the two motors, which have the green propellers on. So I can turn that up and down. And then this one, the horizontal one, is called the servo motor. So it's that little blue one. And the top, the one at the top is to reverse it. So you can hear the sound, change of sound in that. So this is a control panel. Here you can see the code for the client, which in our case was the tablet. This is Java code and was written in Android Studio Editor. This is quite a lot of auto-created code, however from here you can see our code. We've got the reverse switch here, which basically says when you change the switch, so when you make it on or off, depends, then it'll set the message to reverse and then it will just send it. And then it has a little wait just to enable the server to process. Then scrolling down we can see the seek bar that is horizontal which we could see earlier controlled the servo motor. If the progress is bigger than 55 then it will go left, if it's smaller than 45 it will go right and if it's not any of those then it will be in the centre. Then again it sends the message and gives a little wait. Then if we scroll down again we can see the vertical seat bar which controlled the engines. Here again we have the message, then we add the arguments which is the progress of the seat bar, execute the send task and then wait. Then we can see this which runs every four seconds which will simply request the battery status from the boat and then receive it and stick it on the screen. Now if we look at this tab we can see the functions where it will actually send the data across here with a mixture of scanners and sockets and finally we can see the password menu which will do pretty much the same thing. It tracks for when you press the button and then it will send across the password you have entered. And again, it has loads of auto-created code to handle all the screen and graphics. At the top of the screen, you can see the code that initializes the libraries. This means it allows us to use codes that other people have used, or in this case, that we have used. The second script, down here, defines the password and makes sure it needs to be entered. The third script starts the Avento model. The next one takes the data out of the command. This is a script that configures the communication, and then one that waits for the connection from that. And same for the password, it waits for... We also have a script that sends back data, and one that adjusts the speed. Finally, there are three commands at the bottom, one that makes the boat turn left, one that makes it go straight, and one that turns the boat right. And those are basically the Python codes that run on the boat. So, this is the power supply, supplying a constant of 5 volts. This goes into the main circuit board and the Raspberry Pi here. These are the two um, motors and the engines that will be powering the boat. This is the servo motor that does the rudder. If I can let you see that. So that chip there does the how much battery is left so we know how much is left and this one is controlling the speed of the motors that's about it for the hardware if you did like this video please remember to drop a like subscribe and turn on the notifications thank you from all of us at Otter Robotics goodbye, goodbye.